Hi, today we are going to look at an ATM90 E26 energy monitor feather wing which uh, started its life uh, on this uh, rotor board here connected to uh, ESP8266 feather and then since has moved to uh, PCB, the green one at the back and uh, currently it's plugged into the voltage and current sensors here is a current sensor and here is a voltage sensor from a transformer and a current sensor you can see the little green blue thing underneath the, the lamp uh, the casing is double insulated to sort of get the get it tagged and tested for my demos and you can see here live data coming off it uh, voltage waveform, a couple of dropouts due to resets and uh, or just noise that's just minus one uh, and yeah so that's sort of uh, the data very very low uh, no, with no input very low noise and you can see the variations in the voltage the range of variations there is around 230 volts which is Australian standard voltage so let's do a small demo. We'll take the lamp off here and place a compact fluorescent lamp. These have notoriously low power factor. Let's quick lamp change and we'll turn it on. Oh, where's the switch? Ooh, bright lamp. See the power taking off here. Around 20 watts of power. Current. And you can see the fl compact fluorescent lamps draw more power over time as the lamp brightens up. And down here you can see the power factor, which you can see on the display here too. Little OLED display. Only 0.64 and it's brightening up. We'll turn it off. Power goes down to zero, power factor goes back down to zero. You can now see the level of noise that was there is uh, virtually nothing. Take the lamp off, put our halogen lamp back on, and turn it on. And this is 116 watts, you can see it hits maximum power immediately. There's a inrush of current at the beginning as well, which is which captured interestingly. And you can see the power factor here hitting 1 as well, which is displayed here live on our little screen. Turn it off. Power goes down to 0. And goes down to 0. Power factor goes back down to 0. Just noise displayed on the screen. Here you can see some of the future work I 